Okay, today we will be starting Unit 4, which is Rational Functions, and we're going to start by simplifying rationals. So if you ask what is a rational, um, it's simply just a polynomial divided by a polynomial. So I've put things in steps here for you. You want to factor your numerator and your denominator. We'll then cancel out common factors, and then we'll find restrictions and state the domain in interval notation. So if you look at example one, you can see that we need to factor your numerator. You always ask for GCF first or look for a GCF first. So I'm just going to make a note right here. This does have a GCF. So we're going to factor out that three. So if I divide by three, that's going to leave us with X plus two. We also have a GCF in the denominator. So when I factor out that 3, that's going to leave us x squared minus 4. Then you need to ask yourself, do I have, can I factor anything else? So this is a difference of squares. Okay, so we need to keep factoring. So I'm just going to go here with this. So we have the 3, and then it's going to be x plus 2, x minus 2 when we factor out that difference of squares. So now everything's factored as far as we can factor. Step 2 says cancel out common factors. So a common factor is something that you can divide and get 1. They come in pairs. So x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 would give us 1. 3 divided by 3 would give us 1. So when I simplify this, if you cancel everything out, remember that was 1's on top, and then on the bottom we have x minus 2. So that's the simplified version of that radical, rational, I'm sorry. So now we need to do step 3, find restrictions and state the domain in interval notation. So when you look at your restrictions, you need to look at the domain in factored form, so I'm going to look right here to find our restrictions. And the restrictions are anything that would make your denominator be zero. So if I look here, if I put a negative two in the place of this x, that would be negative two plus two is zero, which would make the whole bottom become zero. And we all know we can't divide by zero. So x cannot be negative 2 and then here if I put positive 2, 2 minus 2 would give me 0 so x cannot be positive 2. So here's my restrictions and you're going to use your restrictions to help you write your domain of this function. So I can put any value in for x except for negative 2 and positive 2. So I want you to think about a number line we have negative infinity, positive infinity, negative 2, positive 2. That can be any number except those two that I've crossed out. So you're going to write your domain, negative infinity, all the way to negative 2. I'm going to use a parenthesis because negative 2 can't be included. And now I need to take care of all these numbers between negative 2 and positive 2. Another parentheses and I need to um, consider all the numbers from 2 to infinity. So 2 to infinity. So that would be how we write our domain in interval notation. Okay, moving on to example 2. So example 2, if you look in your numerator, there is no GCF. So you need to ask yourself, um, this is a quadratic in standard form, can I do AC with this problem? So I'm going to come up here and do my work for that. So 2 times negative 2 would give me negative 4, and I need factors of negative 3. So that would be negative 4, positive 1. So you're going to take 2x squared, first term stays the same, minus 4x plus x minus 2. Group it up. G 
GCF in our first group would be 2x. When I divide by that, I'm going to get x minus 2. Sign in the middle always comes down. GCF between our second group is going to be 1, and anything divided by 1 is itself. You should always have what I call the twin, and if you don't, you've done something wrong, so make sure you do. So you're going to take what's on the outside of the parentheses is 2x plus 1, and then take your twin. So that's the factored form of that. So we're going to have 2x plus 1 x minus 2. The bottom I can factor out a GCF. That then leaves me a difference of squares. So that's x plus 2, x minus 2. Now we're looking to cancel out our common factors. So x minus 2 over x minus 2 could be canceled out. So simplified form of this is going to be 2x plus 1 over 2 times x plus 2. So remember, you're simplifying. We do not want to multiply this back together. Let's look for our restriction. So factored form, denominator only is what you need to consider. So again, x cannot equal negative 2 x cannot equal positive 2. So there's our restrictions. If the number line helps you do that, um, but eventually you'll get to the point you should be able to think about that. So from negative infinity to negative 2 and negative 2 to positive 2 and positive 2 to infinity would be our domain. All right, example three. Again, quadratic in standard form. I'm going to do AC with this. So I need factors of negative six to give me negative one. So that would be negative three, positive two. I can do the shortcut here. So x minus three, x plus two. This denominator, I'm going to rewrite. I'm going to turn this around to say negative x plus three. Then I'm going to factor out a negative 1, which is going to leave me x minus 3 when I do that. My common factors can be canceled out. So you have x plus 2 over negative 1, but we can just write that as negative 1 times x plus 2. That's the same thing. So now for your restrictions, x cannot be... If you look here at factored form, 3 minus 3 would give us a 0. So there's only one restriction this time. Think about your number line. We got negative infinity, positive infinity, and we have this 3 sitting here. I can use every number except that one. So we're going to say negative infinity to positive 3 and 3 to infinity for your domain.